In this video, we're going to demonstrate how we will set up the matrix SL9 with the matrix EVB. Uh, the components that ship with the matrix SL9 and matrix EVB are shown in front of you. We have the matrix SL9 um, here. We have the matrix EVB, which provides us with the readout board to the computer, uh, shown here. And the various cables that ship with the product, the USB cable connects the matrix EVB to the computer. The IDC cable uh, connects our matrix SL9 to our matrix EVB, and the power connections um, are shown here where the plus 5 volts that goes to the matrix EVB is the red cable, and the blue cable connects up plus 35 volts and supplies the power to the detectors. Now we're going to demonstrate how we would actually set this up in a laboratory environment. Uh, one of the first things to do is to connect the USB cable uh, into the matrix EVB and just get that out of the way. So this connects onto the back of the matrix EVB like so and that then goes to your computer. Then I'm going to connect the flat cable, the IDC cable, into the matrix SL9 and then I'm going to connect that into our EVB. Uh, this connects directly onto the back of matrix SL9, like so. Uh, we want to make sure that the clips engage tightly with the connector. That's fine. And now what we're going to do is connect the other end of the flat cable into our matrix EVB. And this is this can be done into any of the the slots, um, the 16 slots that are shown here. I'm just going to start off uh, and connect this into uh, slot zero, um, which we're going to use in later videos to show you how to set up the whole system. So I'm going to connect that in and you can see it clicks uh, clicks in very clicks in nicely. So that's now connected together. I'll move those cables out of the way. Um, to connect in the power uh, we're just using a standard laboratory power supply which is set up for 5 volts and 35 volts. I'm going to start off by connecting taking my cables and connect in the positive plus 5 volts first. That is the red cable. That simply screws into the plus 5 terminal on the power supply. I'm going to connect the ground, which is the black lead, to the ground on power supply. And I'm going to do the same thing with my plus 35 volts. I'm going to connect that over to the plus 35 terminal on the power supply. And I'm also going to connect in my my ground cable. These cables can be replaced by the user at a later time if you want to have banana plugs or something that connects more easier into your uh, the power supplies that you use. But these are just the ones that you typically ship with the with the system. So now that you can see everything is connected up from the matrix S09 matrix EVB and connect it back into our power supply. So to show how we will turn this on, I'm going to turn on the power supply and I'm first off just going to check to make sure that my 5 volts is actually set at 5 volts and my 35 volts is set at 35 volts. Uh, I preset this up before we started the video. They're ready to go. I'll start off by turning on the plus 5 volts. Um, you can see there's about 560 milliamps of, uh, of current flowing in the device and that's fine. That just indicates that the uh, EVB is powered and the matrix SL9 is also receiving power. Now I'm going to turn on the 35 volts and you can see now 35 volts has come on. Um, the amount of current being drawn through the detectors uh, even though that they're biased up in, um, in ambient light here in the lab, uh, the current is actually very very small through the detectors and you can see um, that's not even registering on the power supply we have here. That's not something to be concerned about. Um, it's just the current through the detectors is actually very, very small and very hard to detect with this power supply. If you'd like, um, you can connect a, a current, more accurate current meter to that, uh, but we're not going to do that for the, for the video today. You're just going to have to believe me that that is, is all working. So now we have everything set up and powered on and operational, and in subsequent videos we can show you how we can get energy resolution and uh, different things with the, with the product.